man another beautiful day welcome back to another 240 repair video if this is your first time watching i do have a playlist that includes all of the repair videos that way you don't miss out on anything that's going on with the car there's a lot of really interesting parts and pieces that have been happening so definitely don't want to miss out on it uh, i'll leave that playlist attached in the description all right let's jump in what I want to do now is start stripping the rear end of this. So I'm actually going to drop the subframe. That way I can inspect the floor pan area where the subframe is. So yeah. Just like everything else, putting the nuts and bolts back where they belong, that way I don't lose them. And in this case, that way they don't get damaged. When the subframe's getting pushed around in the garage or whatever, the last thing you want is your lug studs to be smashed. Look at that, got the back window access panel. We don't even need to go through the trunk. So I have the upper shock bolts off. Next, I'm gonna do the brake lines. This is for the hydro, which is this lever right here. That helps with like initiating a drift, it like locks the back wheels. And this is just for the base brakes. But man, how awesome is it that literally none of the arms back here are bent whatsoever. All the heims are good, everything works fine. Thank God. <laughs> Yeah, these brake lines are also an 11 millimeter, which I did not bring my 11 millimeter wrench. So an adjustable wrench will do. We got all four brake lines off. So there's four main bolts that hold in the subframe. This is one of them. And then there's also this like little side brace thing. Just blast this thing off real quick. Now that everything is free from the subframe, there should just be the four bolts holding it in. So. I already have the jack stands on the chassis and then I have the jack on the diff which is attached to the subframe. That way when I take off all four bolts the whole subframe doesn't just fall down. So the jack will hold it up for now. Okay so now we'll just start loosening all four bolts and then lower the jack down. All right, we got one more. All right, now it should just drop down. Should. Got it. Sweet. That wasn't so bad. Only took like four or five minutes. And that is the beauty of a rust-free car that has had all of its maintenance done, including all of the bushings. I even put anti-seize on the subframe studs just in case I had to take it out again. Look at that. Easy. A lot of times the old stock ones will literally get like stuck and rusted onto that stud. And it's a pain to replace those studs. Yeah, very nice that that came off with no problems. I guess let's get this thing out the way. Well, that worked out nicely. I try and let the tools work for me instead of trying to like manhandle it out because I'm not trying to break my back doing that. So put it on this little cart thing. Makes it real nice. Except I need to take off the drive shaft because it's just going to be in the way like that. So just four bolts. Take it off real quick. Put your bolts back. Wow. 
Well, that's really satisfying that everything on here is in great condition, no issues. But now let's look under the car, see what we're working with down there. By the looks of it, it does not look bad. I think what I'm gonna do to like really confirm that is either measure on Stevie's orange car or maybe even Fran's car and just take a couple of measurements down here, like maybe across from like bolt hole to bolt hole, just to verify everything is still like straight. But I mean, just from the looks of it, like everything in the rear looks totally fine. A little greasy from the axle boots blowing up, but can't really complain. We got this thing in the air, but how the, am I gonna move this thing now? Hmm, I wonder if I can lay it on one of these. Maybe I put like a tire or something in between. Well, let's see if that works. It's a good thing we have a nice tire selection to choose from. All right, I ended up lowering it onto this tire. So hopefully it still rolls. It's really hard to move by myself. So what I'm gonna do is try and take off as much weight from the back of this car as I can so that hopefully I can get this over that little crack. Now we're gonna visit the 240 plug. We're gonna pick up some 240 doors for this guy in Bolingbroke that just picked up a 240. So, yeah. Yo, what's up, Omar? What's up, dude? So yeah, if you want some parts, hit me up. Part it out on Instagram. Pretty much got whatever you need. This is uh, my drift car. The cool gauges. Oh yeah. They super dirty. <laughs> have not cleaned it since the last season, so I never thought I'd like 15 inch wheels until I actually did it And then I got this car I picked up from Clayton Alley down in San Angelo, Texas TK3 Sapphire Blue, one of 1200. Thanks again for the parts. Oh, yeah, anytime brother <laughs> Rolling <laughs> Got some more weather stripping. And we fit two doors in here. Who needs a truck when you have an Integra? All right, Omar, what are we doing? Oh, we're scavenging, brother. <laughs> we are scavenging. Look at this. Dude, the course port's nice. Not too bad. This thing's untouched. Look at that wing. <laughs> oh my gosh, Look what? That wing. Double decker. Pig nose? Pig nose too? Oh, it's clean. <laughs> We're all excited. We found a 240 in the There's yard. Two wings on top of each other. <laughs> it's got Hyundai hubcaps. Now, these are wheels. Hyundai wheels. Dude, the interior is so nice. Yeah, the seats are good. Dog, bro. <laughs> HUD with the mint dash. Dude, I'm taking the dash. Oh. Dibs on the carpet, single cam carpet. <laughs> no, I want everything, brother. We struck gold. Sorry, I'm taking the carpet. You can't have nothing. I'm taking the carpet. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be here for a while, dude. Yeah. Well, we're gonna be stripping this car down for the next. What do you say? Hour. <laughs> we'll see how far we go. So hopefully we can fit the rest of this stuff in into the Integra. It's already got two doors in it, so that'll be fun. <laughs> Getting somewhere. Nice. Dude, this is my favorite carpet with the stitching. Oh. 
All right, we got most of the interior out. Now we're gonna take the core support since it's straight. And this is probably one of the worst 240s I've ever seen. This is what's left of the frame rail. <laughs> like, this is not even metal. This is like the inside padding. That's nuts. It's so rusty that this is going right through. <laughs> That's where the frame rail should be. <laughs> Not too bad of a haul today. We got a whole cart full of, a whole wheelbarrow full of parts. Nice dash. Door cards. Sheesh. <laughs> Can we get home? <laughs> How did we fit all this in here? <laughs> oh my gosh, let's go drop this off. Dude, going to the junkyard is so fun. It's like once a week, but then there was like a three, four month period where I didn't find anything and I just gave up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How was your ride? Oh. That was awesome. All right? Successful oh. parts haul. Still two doors in there, but somehow we managed to fit all of this. Not bad. Oh, nothing got damaged. Yeah, somehow. <laughs> Well, yesterday when we were at the junkyard, it was so cold that the camera turned off and wouldn't turn back on. And then also the batteries died in the saw. So I didn't get a chance to finish cutting off the core support. So I'm hoping that it's still there. It may be cold out, but I'm always ready for some ice cream. Luckily, there's an ice cream truck here on duty, so I'm gonna order something. Hello? Hello? This one was always a hot choice. Oh yeah. I had someone message me and tell me they needed the rear deck lid. So we're gonna grab that too. Helping those S chassis stay alive, at least the ones that are still out there. Another successful day at the junkyard. Now I need to try to fit this core support in the tag. This shouldn't be a problem, but the last time I put the core support in this car, there weren't any back seats or the passenger seat. So I'm hoping I can try and finagle it in there. All right, got it wrapped up here in the front. Just toss these on top. Brake light, deck lid. Nice. 